All right, on this rainy evening, I'm going to attempt to put a bimini top on my boat. Now this should be really easy because I bought this BroCraft track system bimini top parts thing, my bobber. Now both this BroCraft mounting system and the bimini top I got on Amazon and I will leave an Amazon associate link in my description below to these products. I might get a small commission if you buy these or anything else through those links. Now this BroCraft system is actually for a tracker. However, it will work on an Excel because this part actually moves. This is where the metal part of the bimini connects to. So even if it's sideways, it will still move to wherever it needs to be. So this will work with any boat out there that has a track system, at least in theory. Now this is what the straps connect to, and these don't move, so they might be sticking out a little bit if you've got, you know, a sideways track instead of up and down. But they're still usable, and I might use my rod holders. I don't know yet. I have to see what this looks like once I get it apart. Now this kit only has two of these. Some of the kits sell four of these, just in case you have four metal bars coming down. I bought the cheap one, so it does not have four metal bars coming down to the track system. I will have to be careful driving down the lake if I have my bimini top up. Now you can see I got my ram board here, maybe even in the way. It's in the track system. These should just go in, maybe. I do have a plastic cover. That plastic will not go in there. But if I take the plastic cover off, the metal will go in there. I'm just guessing at where to put this. I will fit it a little bit later. And just make sure they're in there correctly. It may move. Yeah, that's locked down. Now all I have to do is put this one on the other side and then take my bimini box apart. Okay, I took my bimini top box apart very carefully just in case this is not big enough for my boat. I might have to send it back to Amazon if it's not tall enough. It looks like it should be tall enough. The only way to know is to put this thing together somehow. Hopefully I can find some instructions. <laughs> there are no instructions that give you a screwdriver. Oh boy. Maybe it's in here. Oh, there we go. There's your instructions. See if you guys can see that. There are the instructions. And there's the parts list. Now I'm just going to put this together and then give you guys an idea of what I did here. Well, that wasn't too hard. The instructions basically tell you to do this side first, put the side together, put the three poles in the actual top, connect the sides, and then put the back poles on and the front ropes. I did not know it came with the back poles, which makes it more stable 
while you're driving down like the river or the lake. Amazon's description did not say anything about having these back poles. In fact, if I remember right, it only showed straps. This did come with extra straps. So I might be able to take those back poles off and use straps for now. And that's because I don't have the mount for the track for the back two poles. I should have bought the other bro crab kit. Now it's time to see if this actually fits on my boat. Well, I made some changes to get it to fit a little bit better. I took off the rod holder that's on the other side and I moved the whole thing up a little bit. I probably have to move my bait board and I might need to move my adapter or my uh, pole adapter for a live scope. I usually live like right here on the front of the boat anyway. So the shade will be right there, hopefully on the front of the boat. As you can tell, the top is not even yet either. So I got a lot of adjustment to do. Let me jump in here and see if I can stand in it. That's a little bit low. Well, you got to do what you got to do to get some shade. <laughs> Now there is one that's taller than this and it's only like seven inches taller. So I might be able to stand up but I'd still be rubbing my head on it. But maybe I just need to move this forward even more and get it to land like on the other side of the gas tank. Right now I've got it landing right here because I can't go that way with it so I have to fold it down this way. That means I'm gonna have to put this on the other side of the gas tank as well, where my uh, cleat is. Now the question is, can I film with this thing on here? Yellow Tech Power Stick. <laughs> Goes right up into the bimini. I can lower it. Yeah, it's probably not going to work. I actually got this because I have an all day trip two days in a row, two all day trips with an older gentleman this weekend and it's still really hot out during the middle of the day. So I wanted to get a bimini top to just help shade us while we're out fishing in the middle of the heat. I still may take this apart and get a different one or maybe I'll go to an umbrella, I don't know yet. I'll have to think on that after the fishing trip. Now I wanna know what you guys think. What should I do? Should I keep this bimini? Should I get a bigger one? Or should I go with umbrellas all the way around the boat? After all, I do have these rod holders that have these tubes in them. So I could put umbrellas in the Smackdown catfishing rod holders. That might have been the smart thing to do instead of getting a bimini top. I, I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below. And if you know of a good umbrella, let me know too. Of course, for filming an umbrella in the back would be bad because it would block the camera as well. Put an umbrella here or an umbrella over there, it would block the view. But I could put an umbrella right there. And maybe buy another rod holder, put it right here for yet another umbrella. I'm already talking myself into an umbrella, so let me know guys in the comments and as always, I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to actually watch this maybe disaster of a video. I'm definitely not 100% happy with the Bimini top right now. 
But I'm going to try to use it and hopefully Amazon will take it back. I actually don't intend on keeping it on the boat all the time. I'm only going to have it on the boat when needed. Especially on all day trips. And maybe we can get some big catfish in the boat this weekend. Now to take it down and put my boat back in the garage. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you next time.